This is a complete video on how to <clears throat> try and fix your Chinese scooter, Malibu scooter, Propel. <clears throat> a lot of those uh, Chinese ones out there. So here's my issue. Uh, I got a clamp on the brake and I'm going to turn the key on here, start cranking it over. I have nothing. So first thing we're going to do is check for fuel and we're going to check for spark. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the key off here. And I already have taken the seat off, some of the shroud. So I'm going to set this down and start from there. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to pull the spark plug. And for that I'm just going to take a regular 5 8 inch socket, pull my plug wire off here. Set that off to the side. Again, this is just a 5 8 inch. And nothing led up to this. It's just... Uh, one day at one start, one run. So, all right. You can see I got my spark plug out. What I'm gonna do now is <clears throat> I'm gonna put my spark plug back in to the plug wire, have that secured, and I'm going to be checking for spark by letting this ground. And if there is spark. And we know that uh, that's not the issue, and we'll start from the five. Or I should say it's not the issue, but these are the quickest things and the most common things wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over, and you should be able to see spark. I see no sparks. All I'm going to do for checking for fuel is I'm going to put my finger over the porthole for the spark plug and crank it over a couple times. I do have moisture on my finger, and I can smell gas, so that means means the gas is coming. So again, I have no sparks, so I already know that that's an issue. I'm not really that worried about fuel, because if I don't have any spark, then I'm going to start with that no matter what. So. The most common problem with these Chinese moped scooters are the CDI box. Um, <clears throat> they're located in different places. This one, I'm just going to follow the wires down. You can see right here. What you're going to be looking for is just a small black box. I'm going to put this plug out of the way, plug wire out of the way. I'm going to pull this off. This is a CDI box. Uh, with that, I'm just going to take this apart here. There's two small clips, one on the outside of each. There's a four prong connector and a two prong connector. I'm going to just lift, lift this prong out that way and pull the wire out. Comes right out. Then I'm going to do the same thing for this two prong connector. Pull this tab, but pull it back towards me and pull the wire out. Alright, so Here's the CDI box. Again, you can see four prongs on the left, two prongs on the right. Uh, when you go on to the internet, you're going to look up six prong CDI box for the 50cc scooter. It might be for moped, go kart, etc. They're all generalized based. So I've already done that. I figured this out that it was a CDI box. Here's my new CDI box. It doesn't say the name of my moped. It just basically says, look at the pictures, make sure they're the same, which they clearly are. So here's my old one, here's my new one, I'm going to go ahead and install the new one. And for that, I'm just going to do the same thing. Instead of pulling on the tabs, I'm just going to push them right into place. Two prong into the two prong, four prong into the four prong, and we're good to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hook this back up on this, there's a small little black tab, which you can see there's... That's where the CDI box is getting held in place. I 
I can adjust it. There's a tab on the back and the front. I'm just going to put it on there for now. Alright, so spark was our issue, so I'm going to go ahead and check for spark again. Keys on. I have a clamp on the brake. Clearly spark there. So, we know that's fixed. So what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to install the spark plug back in. Uh, because it's a blind hole, you just want to take your finger in, feel which way. So it's basically going to seat this way to help you, f help you in there because you can't really get in there much. So I'm just going to start this off with my fingers, that way we don't want to cross thread it. I am using the same plug, I just replaced this. But if you're doing this and you got a spare plug around, might as well throw a new one in as well. It's not going to hurt nothing. I got about a thousand miles on this one. Again, just a regular 5 8 inch. Snug that down. Pull that back off. Hook my wire back up. And we have spark, we have fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the key on, oh I left it on, keys are on, and I'm going to crank it up. So there you go, um, simple fix, like I think it was 8-9 uh, bucks on eBay. And she's back up and running and hopefully ready for another thousand miles. Eight bucks ain't bad. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment.